Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, of course as we had our patch Tuesday update this week uh, one of the things that Microsoft apparently finally fixed in the latest uh, updates is that print nightmare problem um, but the funniest part of this is that now a lot of uh, IT admins are, comp are actually complaining that network printers stopped working again so this actually is not new it happened a couple of months ago when they tried to fix the print nightmare again uh, it's kind of interesting because you know you think about it and all these fixes and and you're like wow this is crazy how complicated sometimes it is for them to fix um, an issue in windows 10. apart from that of course that's pretty much the only thing that people seem to be complaining about um, so, you know, uh, Patch Tuesday updates uh, have uh, passed. We have a lot of fixes. People uh, are uh, talking on the uh, comments, and I was wondering, uh, well, you know, I wanted to have my personal opinion. So a lot of people are saying, you know, they're waiting for uh, to install these updates and all of that. And, um, you know, some people wait a week or, or so on. You know, it all depends on the security updates, but when you have zero days exploited, you have to be careful if you do wait for a um, security update to install uh, to uh, make sure that, you know, you don't do anything that could compromise your PC because of the security flaws that won't be fixed as long as the security updates are. Um, are, are not applied to the system. You know, this is really and truly the number one thing for any security um, of your system. Um, updates for security are the number one thing to do, and they are the number one reason your PC stays safe with you, you know, being careful what you do. Um, also, uh, what is interesting is that if you did not apply, of course, the... Uh, famous uh, bug fixing update of last week well you know it's it's applied at the same time because cumulative updates work in that way uh, they apply everything that is still not installed on your computer so um, you know I talked about it last week how I find that 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 is a problem if one of those bug fixing updates causes an issue because that issue can come back because of the patch Tuesday update forcing also that update to apply uh of course once again a lot of people asking me you know what do you do how come you know that uh, you're gonna get these updates in a specific time are you always you know um just um, um you know looking for updates every five minutes or something there is a specific schedule by the way for windows updates to happen Microsoft does divide the month into the A, B, C, D uh, time slot for updates. And each week has a different type of update available for different products or services. The B week, which is Patch Tuesday, is what we get on the second Tuesday. So that's the B week, basically. Then you have the D week which is usually where we get updates for the um, bug fixing in Windows 10. So um, and that type of update system will probably continue on with Windows 11 also. Um, so that's kind of interesting to see um, that, you know, they're, they're going to continue pretty much the same thing. Uh, on talking of updates also, a lot of people are asking me, well, you know, there's promise of uh, more slim and less problematic updates with Windows 11. Would that come to Windows 10? Uh, I, I, it would be cool that Windows 10 also has um, a more, um, you know, slimlined and, and stream, streamlined and, and, you know, kind of easy to do updates rather than the big gun uh, updates. One thing to note is that from 2015 to 2021, Windows 10 did actually have smaller updates. Today's cumulative updates are actually l less uh, problematic, probably, in a way, because they are more, um, you know, they install in a more slimmer way. They also are, you know, smaller rather than 
uh, the um, the original system updates that were back in the uh, in 2015. But uh, it is uh, interesting to know that they did kind of fix that a little bit. But yeah, there's still a lot of improvements uh, to have there. And uh, when we look at updates like for smartphones, where we barely notice an update ever happened, um, you know, it'd be fun that Windows also have that at some point. For the rest, you know, Windows update uh, and Windows 10 is, uh, like, you know, it's, it's off. It's fine to continue using it. Uh, Windows 10 will be the uh, system to use, and I, I can see Windows 10 keeping its domination for years to come, even though Windows 11 will be released in a couple of weeks. So we'll be focusing on that for sure, even though there might not be really a lot of new features coming to Windows 10, which is fine, honestly. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be quiet times. Uh, remember my video a few months ago where I said boring is okay, or boring is, you know, probably the best thing that can happen to Windows 10. That means... You know, stability and, and a good a good solid operating system uh, to continue working on. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.